I'm Julian from Julian Tech TM, and this is my new office tour. So this office is 2,400 square feet and there's a lot of things that I can do with this office. It's pretty much a studio and you can do studio bookings which I'll give you the information later. Camp. Camp. Stop Drooper. Stop. This is pretty much like the living room area and then this is where the magic... No, 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 no. So one idea I had was like, imagine you can do a show, entertaining skits. Then you have bedroom, you got living room, and also got kitchen. Uh, there's a kitchen. So this kitchen is actually sponsored. Techno is one of the sponsors that sponsored the induction cooker. So we have one here, one here, and the cool thing is, look at this. Because it's an enclosed area, right? It's an office. It's an inbuilt exhaust. So if you, you know, cook things like steak, that's very smoky, it does the job. So in terms of Content-wise, maybe I can start a food channel. Maybe not me, but anyone want to start a food channel? Cooking one? I don't know. We will see. You can see the design is very minimalistic, yet functional. Why do I say that? So things like this water dispenser, it does cold water, hot water, different amounts of water. Very interestingly, baby milk setting. Here is where the tech stuff come in. The Google Home, what you can do is say something Google. I'm not going to say it because it's going to activate your Google devices. Give me recipes for tomato pasta. And then it will give you step by step. And then you can follow the steps. Very, very convenient. Huh? Then we got a coffee machine. You can make your own coffee. Got instant coffee below. Michibichi. Michibichi. And this kitchen area is designed by Lemon Fridge Studio, which if I'm not wrong, also designed Overkill, which is Ryan. Ah, you remember Ryan Tan from my previous company. Okay, let's go next. We will move on to the office area. But before that, I need to showcase this leaf. You'll be like, why you want to showcase a cargo leaf, right? Firstly, it's a cargo leaf in the office. Secondly, it's a cargo leaf without the gold. Like no cargo, like gold, car because it's a car leaf. You can put a car inside. No, I'm not even joking. So this building was actually planned and built for car showroom. So you can put like a supercar here, you can drive it out and then showcase your cars. What? Amazing, right? Yeah, come, let's go. This is where the actual magic happened. You can see there's a mural over there. Designed by Xavier Boy and Brian. Who is Brian? He's our in-house tattoo artist. This is his studio. You can see his mind all over the walls. There's a lot of sketches. You have centipedes, death. There's a lot of skeletons, needles here. So I wonder how much are these? But pretty cool. On to the main area. So this is more of the tech stuff. This is what you know me for. Uh, this is where the camera stuff are. Yeah. And one thing that I want to showcase, we are a small team at the moment, but I'm planning for a big team. And this is one of it. This is a NES storage system, like not NES, NAS. Basically what it is, is that we can access the storage via internet. So you can actually access it within the office, like through the own network. Or even if let's say I'm home, I can Type, 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 type. and then also have access to the storage so it's something useful it's called the asus -ter. i don't i don't know how you actually pronounce pronounce it <laughs> pronounce it asus -ter? asus this is the as 6702t it has two hard drive bay and four nvme ssd bay yeah for this is the fs 6706t this one is fully NVMe SSD M.2 and there's six bays, a total of two hard drive bays and 10 NVMe SSD bays. Yeah, 10. At the moment, only one NVMe SSD is in and one hard drive bay is in. And one thing I want to do is to add one more two terabyte SSD. Basically, a NES is a mini PC. It has a 2.5 gigabit per second input for your internet cable and also 10 gigabits. At the moment, it's not 10 gigabits internet yet, but we are ready for the future. That's the thing, future, future proofing. That's why even though populating all the slots, next time we can add more. Installing a hard drive is very easy. You just take this out, install. But I haven't read the manual to 
how to install an NVMe SSD. Just take out the screws. I hope it's that easier. Ah, look at that. M.2 slots. So you can see there's four slots. One, two, three, four. And we're gonna add this into number one. It should be easy as adding it to a motherboard. Very easy. No screws required. The thing is, I could have made my own NAS like using my own computer, own motherboard. But it's the foam factor. Everything is all here. You don't have to worry so much. There's also HDMI to put your monitor, USB for your mouse and keyboard. And also, if not, you can put your thumb drive or so. But that, don't quote me on that. I need to double check. It's not like a comp, you can't use it like Windows, but you can do all the settings there. Let's go see whether it works. It should be as easy as putting it in and it should show up. Storage manager. There we go. Look at that. One hard drive, one NVMe SSD M.2. I can set it up so that it's on the Explorer, you know, as, as though it's like a drive. And I can set it up for multiple computers, whether it's a Wi-Fi or Ethernet. Obviously, Ethernet will be faster and more stable. For the Ethernet, it will be more for the editing suites, the ed people that do the editing. And for the Wi-Fi people, they, need, they just need to, you know, view the final video. They can do it on their phones. They can do it in, uh, in their own computers. Like, you see this guy in front here? He uses Mac. So I must figure out how to use the NAS with a Mac. It is what it is. It is what it is. So one benefit of getting the Asuster, 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 whatever, is obviously the software that comes with it. There's active monitoring, so you can see how fast the, the performance is, the processors that is open on the NAS, drive usage, the temperatures, I mean. So it's 36 degrees or 96 degrees. Fahrenheit. And there's just a lot of things that I still yet to discover. You can have apps, you know, there's App Center. You can have third party software. Working alone, I didn't need an S. Everything on my PC. But when I have a team now, when projects get into the 200 gigabyte range, pain in the ass. Transfer here, transfer there. If your drive is not fast enough, you have to wait four hours for it to transfer to another computer just so that the person can start working. So this will eliminate that problem. Okay, before we talk about this PC, we need to talk a bit about the space, okay? Come. This Apparently, it's called a condominium for cats. Oi. Oi. Yes, good. Condominium costs less than $200. <laughs> Not bad. From Taobao. But you have to build it yourself. One thing I haven't really mentioned is the team here. Okay, so the right side is where all the editing and where I sit, right? All the editing, all the post-production. On the left is actually where the administration. Because let's say you want to book the studio. Administration. Uh, you can also do like marketing, uh, marketing campaigns. Uh, wow. And you can see a lot of chairs, like Secret Lab, Razer, DX Racer, more Secret Lab. Oh, MSI Prospect 700R gaming case. They sent me this and I checked online, it's $700 for a case. Bro, $700 can build a PC, you know. Why this case so expensive? I don't know. I'm going to check it out one day. So we got a lot of boxes, you can see, cases. Water loop, more cases, more cases. That one has a PC. One PC is actually bought from Aftershock because I wanted to test their PC like anonymously, but that haven't come out yet. Don't tell them. This is a PC when I thought how to build a PC. Zowie gaming monitor, 1080p, 360Hz monitor, Diac. Y'all can remember my boxes is where I have my RAM, USB Type-C, CL13 cables, small bottles, everything. And they have the motherboard boxes. The 4070 Super is as good as a 3090 at a fraction of the cost. Wow, and this is the white version. I'm gonna bring this home. There's two PCs set up at the moment. One is the editing suite. This one is a 5950X 16 core processor with a RTX 3090. The one problem with this PC, only one drive. The C drive with one terabyte. But with the NES, we got one terabyte of hard drive and two terabytes of NVMe SSD. Yes. Okay, come to my area. PS5, Xbox Series X, Nintendo Switch, OLED version. This one you must stand here. You can see my PC. So this is my PC. I did a video building this PC, Custom Waterloop, and it's running the 7950X 3D and a RTX 4080. As you can see, the water cooling water color it's pink because I flushed it and then I brought it here and then I cleaned it, but I didn't clean enough. Boom! Haha! <laughs> now you hide my disappointment. I have my commando stuff here. Siletto, airborne, 
Indu Airborne, Best Combat Unit, and uh, Cross Training. Uh, fire, NS Man Service. Yay. I think that's about it. Yeah. I think that's the whole tour. The hell? I think I got into the specific, all my gear and everything. And I think that's about it for the office tour. So you might be wondering, how did I get all this? Simple. Partnering with Passering. What is Passering, you might ask? It's actually a studio slash production slash marketing uh, studio. Uh, company and the reason why I partner with them is because there's a lot of opportunities you can see the space I have a lot of ideas obviously is doing the tech channel others can be I don't know, food ah, podcast the the sky is the limit well, so what can you do there's the passering studio so you can book the studio whether you want it for a shoot you want it for a party you can do whatever you want I mean not exactly whatever but you can do almost anything you want with the space. So we did like one shoot for Samsung and that, and that shoot was very interesting because we weren't shooting for customers or anything. We were shooting for Singtel internal use. So like for their employees to watch. Uh, like the new uh, Samsung Galaxy, the one with the whole AI thing. So it's like showcasing the capabilities of the phone to the employees, you know, the new AI features and all this kind of thing. So that was that was pretty cool. What else can you do? I mean, you want, you, if you need a marketing campaigner, that's what they do. Yeah, I'm not going to touch that. The, the Obviously, the thing I'm going to touch is more of like the content side. So it's going to be very interesting 2024. Oh, right. Uh, if you want a tattoo, you can get a tattoo. The guy's Brian. Hope you enjoy. Have any questions, uh, you know, my values, I'm always honest. Just let me know. Uh, yeah, that's it. I think I'm done.